Anne-Marie Curcio is a woman on a mission. Her husband of 40 years died just four weeks ago of a heart attack, just three years after what they believed was hitting the jackpot, literally. It was by this day we were driving down the turnpike and uh, we decided, uh, let's go get a ticket and it's a Mother's Day's gift. And I said, that sounds good. And it turned out to be a half a million dollar ticket. Here's a copy of that $20 Gold Rush scratch-off ticket. The Curcio's attorney has the original locked away. It's their only evidence. But Anne-Marie says they matched two of the winning numbers. And Orlando attorney Lawrence Walters confirms a half a million dollar winning, or so they thought. Apparently there's some kind of magical discernment process that uh, the lottery has. You know, they look at... Uh, a number on the ticket, a serial number or something, and they can determine whether it's supposed to be a winning ticket or not. We got our lottery ticket checked, and they said a misprint, and we were like, <gasps> we never heard that word before. A misprint, something neither Anne Marie Curcio nor her attorney understand. Though we were unable to reach a lot of representative tonight, Walters tells us they told him they're not responsible for misprints. On the back of the tickets, it does say tickets and winners are subject to lottery rules and state law. But Walter says his client's lawsuit accuses the Florida lottery of deceptive and unfair trade practices. The advertising that the lottery does never informs consumers that, well, you may have a ticket that shows you're a winner, but you may not really be a winner. And more importantly for the general public, you may have a winning ticket or a losing ticket that is actually a winning ticket and throw it away. Tracy Jason, Fox 35 News at 10.